Welcome everyone. In order to take a screenshot in iPad 10th generation, we need to do the following key combination. So find where the power button is and the volume up button. We need to click and release both the power key and the volume up key at the same time. When you do this, don't hold on the buttons, okay? Otherwise that won't work. Just click release and that will take the screenshot. I'll cover some tips and tricks to so keep on watching. Uh, so let's do the screenshot in three, two, one. Click release power and volume up and you can see the screenshot was taken. Now you may have some issues where you do the screenshot but you can see that time it didn't work. Or well, that time it didn't work. What's happened is you either click the power button and not the volume up button or the volume up button and not the power button. So when you do the screenshot, click release, make sure you add a bunch of force and that should help you out. Now if you want to take a screenshot of a full web page, definitely uh, keep on watching. This is a useful tip to know. So I have the Apple website here and I want to take a screenshot of the full page. So we do the regular, click release power and volume up. So click release, but then you're gonna tap on this preview of your screenshot, and then you have this option for the full page. And you can see that is how the screenshot's gonna look like. If I tap on done, I can save that PDF out of the files app. So keep in mind the files app is not the photos app, it's a separate app. So you will need to go into there to access the screenshot. If I do take a regular screenshot like so, you're gonna notice it shows a preview. If you wait long enough, the preview will go away. However, I take a screenshot here. If I just wanna quickly save the screenshot, I just slide to the left. If I took a screenshot, but I don't wanna save it. So let's take a screenshot, tap on the preview, and then there is a bin here. Just tap on the bin and then delete screenshot. On top of this, you can edit your screenshots. So if I take a screenshot, tap on the preview, you can crop, and you have the markup tools right here, which you can play around with as well. And if you are you know, done, you just tap on done. You can either save to photos, you can save to a quick note, which is sliding up from the bottom right hand side to access quick note right here, or you can save to the files app. You can also copy the screenshot, but delete it so you can paste it later and delete the screenshot itself. So I want to showcase the copy and delete because that you know, isn't you know, too obvious. So now in our clipboard, the screenshot is copied. So if I go to, let's say the notes app and I paste, you can see it pastes that screenshot, but it is not saved in our gallery. So that just means that you don't have to save something to a gallery so maybe paste it in an email, paste it in the notes app, and that should also help out a little bit with storage. So with that being said, thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to support the channel and you plan on buying iPad 10th generation accessories, if you use my Amazon affiliate link in the description, I'll get a commission on your purchase that Amazon would usually take. Bye bye.